I am back today to do another review for you guys. I'm really excited to talk about this movie today. So this is a little older film, but I don't care. I'm going to spotlight it and talk about it anyway because I want to. So if you didn't know, this year I reviewed a film that I really enjoyed that was released in 2021 called The Worst Person in the World, directed by Joaquin Trier. And it was one of my favorite films of 2021. I just thought it was absolutely incredible. The performances were amazing. The cinematography was incredible. And it was truly one of the the most moving stories of the year. And I've been really excited to check out any and all things made by Joaquin Trier. And there's a film that has been on my watch list for quite some time now, and it's called Thelma. It was streaming on Hulu, and I've been kind of putting it off for a while. And finally, I was like, you know what? I really want to see this movie. I think Joaquin Trier is super talented, and I'm looking forward to seeing it. And this movie blew me away. It has similar cinematography and editing style to the worst person in the world, but subject matter and content wise, it's still really character driven and emotional, but you have this supernatural element at play and it's almost psychological, kind of elated it and it's on par with worst person in the world for me. I think both films are amazing. Me being someone who loves the horror and suspense genres, I think that it was fantastic and I look forward to talking about it. Thelma is directed by Joaquin Trier. A college student starts to experience extreme seizures. She soon learns that the violent episodes are a symptom of inexplicable abilities. The beginning of the film introduces our lead character Thelma as a young girl, probably six or seven years old, and she's walking on ice with her dad. They're out hunting, and he's got his hunting rifle with him, and they're going out. He finds a deer, and he stops Thelma, and he says, hang on, I'm going to do this. And so she's staring directly at the deer, and he points his hunting rifle up, and he turns it towards her, and the camera cuts. And then you're in modern day where Thelma is going to college. She gets there and it's just about her life and her interaction between the people on the college campus. She's sort of isolated from the rest of the world. You could tell she feels like an outcast. She's very tightly connected to her parents. Her parents, as you find out through context clues in the film, through things in their household and the way they present themselves, they're a very conservative Christian family and that have pushed their ideals on their daughter for a very long time. This movie at its core is a movie about a girl with supernatural abilities who the supernatural abilities seem to be triggered whenever she does something that is kind of outside of the realm of what her parents are accepting of. The film overall seems to be an allegory for the repression of homosexuality and for the mistreatment of people in the LGBTQ community by the conservative Christian church and just the ideals of the conservative Christian church pushed on people in total and how that affects people negatively. I've talked about this on my channel a few times now, but being a person who identifies as a member of the community was raised by a conservative Christian minister. This movie moved me a lot. It was kind of hard for me to watch at times because of just how much the lead character's father reminded me of my own dad and the subtle manipulations that that character used to manipulate their daughter and their child and to try to get them to do the things that they wanted them to do. And this movie really kind of struck a chord with me and it was difficult to watch at times, but it was beautiful and it was gut-wrenching and amazing. So the way that you really start this movie off, felt is going to school, her parents move her in, and she's constantly calling her parents on the phone at nighttime. It's almost like it's expected of her to keep that constant communication. She goes to the library one day, and this girl comes into the library and sits down next to her, and she kind of gives her a passing glance, and the girl smiles at her. As soon as the girl smiles at her, Thelma like turns her head, and her hand starts shaking violently, and she starts having a horrible seizure, and she falls down on the floor. You see these birds outside, and they're kind of swar swarming around outside, and one bird flies at the window and impacts the window while she's having her seizure. It's up and she goes to the doctor and the doctor tells her, well, you could have epilepsy, but we're not 100% sure. You might want to go get it checked out, but on our readouts, we can't figure out what caused it or what the reason for this is. She's like, well, don't tell my parents. I really don't want them to know. And so that's the movie is the seizures start to get worse as she starts to bring this girl into her life. They start seeing each other and she becomes more of a part of her life. Well, this girl is dating a guy at the time that she starts seeing Thelma 
and she ends up breaking up with the guy because you can tell that her relationship with Thelma is so much stronger. They go to a party together and they start kissing and she goes back home at one point. She just loses her mind essentially and she has another seizure, crazy shit starts happening. There's one night where she's laying alone in bed and she's lonely and she it's implied that psychically she makes this girl get out of bed and find her apartment and she has a seizure outside and the girl takes Thelma back into her apartment. The next morning Thelma looks at her and says, hey, how did you know where I live? Like, how did you figure out? And she's like, well, you must have told me or something. Get sort of insights into Thelma's psychic abilities throughout the film and how anytime she does something that is not acceptable from her parents' standards, it triggers these abilities. Like her parents don't drink because she they, they think it's wrong. And so she goes to a party and has wine and there's this really tough scene to watch that goes to the opera with this girl and her mother. And the girl holds her hand and she starts like rubbing her leg and she gets, she makes the light fixtures in the opera start to shake and she runs out of the room and the girl comes out after her and they kiss really passionately and she goes home and she doesn't talk to her for a really long period of time. And she breaks down crying and she literally calls her dad and it's almost like she's going to confess to her dad that she engaged in this relationship. Well, instead she tells a fragment of the truth and she tells him that she drank alcohol. He's like, well, you're an adult and you should be able to do these things, but but I'm glad that you told me you needed to tell me. And it's like that subtle, I'm here for you as a parent, but there's also manipulation in his voice and the way that he's trying to guide her to be exactly like him and his wife. And you can also kind of see these powers as being something that could be utilized to help other people. And there's so many, so much good that could come out of her powers, but because her parents are afraid of them, they want her to suppress them. They want her to not use them being as how members of the LGBTQIA community would be their most true, truest form of themselves when they're out and they're them and they're comfortable in their own skin. And so that theme resonates really heavy throughout the film. And it's such a beautiful and moving experience. The third act is insane. Performances are so good in this movie. And I just enjoyed every second of it. And I thought it was one of the best films I've watched this year. I know it came out in 2017. But Joaquin Trier is a super fucking talented director and I can't wait to watch the rest of the films in his catalog. He's clearly someone who cares deeply about people and wants to understand the human experience. Both of the films from him I've watched are very much about understanding humans at their core. And this movie is a must watch. If you have a Hulu subscription, I would jump on and watch it immediately. So have you seen Thelma? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you thought. I thought this movie was amazing and I look forward to seeing it again. As always, if you can like the video and subscribe to the channel, it helps me out a lot and lets me know the type of content you're looking for. I'm always putting out new material and look forward to getting more out there for you in the near future. As always, everyone, thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.